just can't take it's a dog's world. I just can't take the foolery. I mean, I just can't take the foolery. Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to the mental house with me, the puppy. I just gotta come on here real quick and find out how many of y'all have watched Donald Trump and the State of the Union last night. You know, it was so freaking insane. And all I can say is, all you gotta do is go back and look at Nancy Pelosi's face and expressions throughout the whole evening. And that will sum it up for you just how ridiculous, you know, and how crazy dude is and to be sitting up there working with and those of us who knows what a personality disorder looks like no matter what your um, political affiliation is whether you are Republican or Democrat you should know that Donald Trump has some type of personality disorder and it's one of the cluster B's you should know that and the fact that some of y'all are attracted to that, just let me know how messed up y'all are. For the first time, I ain't going to say for the first time, but for a real, real strong, hard time, I could feel my ancestors last night. I could, When I saw those faces in the crowd, that's, you know, I, I never felt my ancestors' blood boil as much. I mean, it was almost like fire shut up in my bones, you know, and to sit there as a, a uh, indigenous person to this land, to be a, a descendant of a slave and have to sit there and suppress all of the emotional abuse to listen to somebody that is totally dismissed you. I mean, this dude couldn't find out one black hero. He picked up the World War II veteran. Now, from what I saw, maybe somebody saw something I, I missed. But he couldn't find out one black hero. <laughs> Not even the guy that jumped in and saved all the people at Denny's from being shot up. He couldn't find out nothing. Out of all this killing. And, and it just solidifies and just anchors the racist mentality of all those white men basically. And it was truly horrible to see. You know, you you looked at B, uh, Ben Carson and he really looked like um, a fly in a buttermilk butt. He's part of the bus, uh, the, what do you call it? Butter Biscuit Brigade. A person that is a, a total traitor. And so he's so ridiculous that the whole, the whole administration is just sad, you know. And um, like I said again, all y'all gotta do is look at Nancy Pelosi's face, and it said it all. It said it all. Like I got to sit up here with this dude. So I just want y'all to know, you know, um, you know, as you as you realize you're dealing with this uh, these personalities, especially for those of us who. Um, our descendants of slaves. And we got to sit here and go through all this gaslighting, all this projection with the dominant society that continues to make us feel invisible as if we're not here. So we fight in two wars, really. We fight the ones in our house, you know, with the narcissist inside the home that has just carried on from the big narcissist, the dominant society. And it becomes extremely difficult. And then when you throw race on top of it, it's a match made in hell. But I know one thing. Um, you know, to sit there and think you're going to just keep dismissing somebody after they built the country is just totally asinine. And to, to for you to even want to sit there, to even be comfortable with that, shows me just how messed up y'all are in mentally. You know, you're just sick. And that's why, that's why I say anybody that voted for Donald Trump has to be a racist. You just have to be a racist. I can't, you can't convince me that you're not. Um, you just can't. So, roof, roof, roof. 
And y'all go and have a good day. I decided to put my puppy on today for the conversation. Because it's a dog's life out here. <laughs> it's a dog's life. <laughs> With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you a little later in another video. That State of a Union Address. What y'all think about it? Please leave me a comment. Those of y'all that caught it, let me know what you thought about it. Alright. Talk to you later.